Uh, hello, cover star of 2K20. Oh, that's me! You. Oh, that's me! Yes, that's me. Good news. Rollins news. champion, how the you, man. How are you feeling? Uh, feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty, pretty good. Yeah, no, um, a huge, huge uh, move forward for me, I think, for um, women in sports and in wrestling. Um, and just uh, the next step in cementing my legacy as the greatest. It, <laughs> get that pinky up. Um, it's pretty incredible, because when I spoke to you this time last year at Barclays, just after you slapped the head off Charlotte, yep. that was like the first step. That was the first step. Then I spoke to you just after WrestleMania. That was like the culmination of this big dream. And now I'm speaking to you a year later at SummerSlam, cover star of 2K. Life must be pretty incredible for you. So it's funny, isn't it? Like, yeah, life is good. Life is great, of course. Um, but it's always, it, it, you never sit back and go, oh, I've made it. Do you not, like, do no, you not have those no. time to reflect? No. Right. The, the closest I came to was when we were filming the, the commercial. And I was like, oh, actually, this is pretty cool. Oh, actually, oh, I have actually done some pretty great things. Because I'm always thinking about what's next. How do I, how do I make the next few the most um, anticipated? How do, I, how do I make this the most engaging um, conflict that I've ever been involved in? Um, what's next? How can we push the envelope more? How can we do more? How can we make this the coolest thing on TV? Um, and so, it, uh, and then of course you're just it's so busy, right? It's just it's it's appearances and and uh, making towns and and um, TVs and pay per views after pay per view. So it's all just about keeping that momentum going because I don't want to sit back and relax and feel like I've made it and and here we go. It's kind of like you know when you you watch the X Factor. Uh, right, like this is the perfect example. You watch the X Factor, and the person that wins never really goes on to do anything. But the person that comes second or third becomes like a, a massive analogy. star, right? Yeah. Because they've got that, like they've got that 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 thing in them, that hunger in them, yeah. that wanting to prove something. And luckily, you're 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 a hero in the chase and a villain in the victory, right? So so everybody wants to push me off in the top spot, prove that that I was a flash in the pan that. I'm, I'm this or I'm that, and 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 I love that because nothing nothing drives me as much as spite. Yeah, spite and proving people wrong, and then coffee to add to the mix. You're all full of piss and vinegar. That's me. Yeah, that's me. And uh, I remember ninety percent piss, ten percent vinegar. <laughs> I remember we talked a while ago, and you said hundred percent the man. That is t-shirt. <laughs> and I get some royalties for that. Absolutely. Ninety percent piss, ten percent. Vinegar, vinegar 100% the, the man. Man. Yeah. Yeah. winning formula. Um, yeah, I remember we spoke last time and you said you were you were simply running on adrenaline and coffee. Yeah, is, is it? Do you love this life in the past? Land? Oh, like, absolutely. Is there any part of you that wants to step back a little bit and? No. No. What would I do? No, that's true. What would I do if if I was sitting back? I'd be I'd be thinking about how I shouldn't be sitting back. Right. You know what I mean? Like. It's, uh, this is all I want to do. This is what I've worked my entire life to do. Um, and now I'm getting to do it. And I don't want to stop doing it because I love it. I love being able to get out there and run my mouth whenever I can. or um, Break new ground constantly on the cover of ESPN. WWE Superstar has never done that, male or female. Yeah. Uh, female first ever female uh, on the cover of 2K. First ever female to main event WrestleMania. How many more firsts do you want? It's quite impressive for someone who is the least relevant, isn't the it? The least you know relevant. I mean? the le and it just shows you, though. It just shows you that you never have to uh, accept your position in, in life. If you know if you know in your heart that you're meant for more, that you can do more, you just got to work for it and you've got to... Ah, I, I, I want to say patient, be patient, but I don't know that I, I, I like patience too no. much. I don't think patience really got me anywhere. I think you're a smart lady. And an inspirational lady. Oh, I well, thank that. you. I, I appreciate that. that. Thank um, you. Let's talk about you and Seth, if you don't mind. Sure. So, relationship. Yeah, sure. Brought it onto TV. Oh, do people not know about that? Oh, is that Well, oh, just, just watch Raw for five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, is this something that was sort of asked of you, or were you quite happy and willing to just have your relationship so on TV? So, I, I was quite apprehensive at first, right? Okay. And so, because um, I thought, ah... Uh, the man should the man be with the should the man have a man you know yeah. um, and and so then but then I thought to myself I'm like right if you're watching if you're watching the Avengers right and you're seeing two badasses man and woman fight side by side that's pretty cool right and like I'm like okay 
I'm the best in my division. He's the best in his division. Two top, fighting side by side, beating the hell out of people. That's pretty cool. As a fan, I'd want to see that. Yeah. What I wouldn't want to see is, oh, hey, by the way, these guys are in a relationship. So, uh, Becky, Becky Lynch's boyfriend, um, so Seth Rollins' girlfriend, um, oh, by the way, these guys are in a relationship. Hey, guys, in case you didn't know, they're, that's not I what, what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Luckily, that didn't happen. No, no, no. You fr piss and vinegar. Piss and vinegar. 98% piss now. 98% piss, 2% vinegar, 100% the man. There you go. Um, I loved the uh, the mixed main event at Extreme Rules. Though. I thought that was See, excellent. Exactly. It was What's excellent. That? It was excellent because you had two people that were the best fighting side by side, beating the hell out of two people you didn't like. That was all we needed. We didn't need to know that we were in a relationship. God damn it. So, but luckily that never happened. <laughs> never. Um, what happens if Seth is no longer the number one in his in his division? Uh, that's not going to happen. Will he, he dump him? He, no, but he is the number one. Like it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what ha he is the number one. He is the best at what he does. Yeah. He is the best at what he does, and I that I can say that before anything hap Like I just look at him and I think he has broken ground time after time after time. He has been on top for what seven years, constantly, constantly having. Uh, amazing match after amazing match after amazing match. Nobody can refute the fact that he is the best at what he does. His style is copied the world across. Everybody is trying to do his style. He is clearly a groundbreaker. He's clearly phenomenal. He's the best um, at what he does. I'm the best at what I do. So Steve Austin came out Raw Union and talk, right talked about the. Um, <laughs> The, the family of, yeah. of WWE. What does it what does it mean to you? And and you've obviously loved this industry for a long time. Yeah. And the the sort of community of it and the, the fan base. There's not mean? another industry like it, right? And I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for the fans. And I 100% know that they're the people that got behind me in uh, Money in the Bank 2018 and and made their voices heard, so that the people in the back realised that I was something, realised that we had a connection. And when you go out there, I. I there's so much passion that I have for this industry and there's so much passion that they have for this industry and they're, they're constantly making their voices heard whether they want it to be better or they're enjoying it they're constantly letting us know how they feel about it um, and I think when you have that passion their passion, our passion and it just, it's a beautiful marriage of love and, and passion and um, you know isn't that the recipe for all good marriages or Absolutely. something probably I don't know Absolutely. ask me in 50 years I was going to say yeah. one day one day soon I'm yeah. sure you know um, Natty this Sunday how are yeah. you feeling about getting in there with an old friend but uh, a new foe um, is she a new foe? Is she a new Maybe foe? Because I remember what about, was it two, three years ago that she was attacking me left, right and centre? She, she headed the welcoming committee um, to, uh, to, to, to beat me up and beat me down. And um, uh, she thought she would use me as a stepping stone because she saw that everybody else that had used me as a stepping stone had gotten somewhere in their career. Because for a while in my career, I was known as somebody who was good, um, maybe not destined to be great, but could make other people look great, could make other people look like stars, um, could turn them into stars, because I am that damn good. Um, and I think that she saw that and she wanted to use that, and so she she uh, did whatever she could to try and make a name for herself out of me, and it didn't work. And so then she came back sucking up, and she was there for me. I will say, admittedly, when I got my face broken, and she was in the hospital that night with me when I Jax punched me in the face, but then she was the one that trained Ronda Rousey. So she's really just always kind of looking out for Natty. Like, who does she attach herself to to make herself better? Even though she is one of the best, if not the best technical um, wrestler that we have in our division. So why is she not just using that? Why is she falling back on this? Oh, I'm Natty, I'm the good girl, I'm so sweet. Nobody's ever given me a chance, but I've been here head, head weighing the women's division for however many years. Yeah, 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 we know that, Natty, but you haven't stepped out, you haven't done anything. But I told her, I'm the thing that her career is missing, and I'm going to show the world on Sunday that I am the thing that his, her career is missing. But unfortunately, it's too late because she's going to be tapping out to me in front of all 90,000 of the Hart family members. Well, I can't wait. And I love the promo you cut on Aaron Roy. It was awesome. Oh, well, thank you very really much. It was really good. Uh, finally, Matt Riddle, Brock Lesnar in a fight. Who would win? And would you want to see it? Um, hmm, probably Brock Lesnar. Okay. Yeah, probably Brock Lesnar. 
I've, I've seen him dismantle people firsthand. Um, sure, yeah, yeah, I'd like to see it. I mean, Brock Lesnar's going to need something to do after Seth beats him for the title, so. Yeah, that's, that's he could true. go back to NXT. <laughs> I think he could go back to NXT. So long, bro. Becky, as always, lovely to see you. Thank you, great Thank to you. see you. Cheers. I did actually break out in a sweat. I was like, yeah, it's over.